The church in the Episcopal Diocese of Texas is a living, breathing, thriving body of Christ. And we do that work of ministry standing as we are on the shoulders of giants, of all those who have gone before us. And we remember as well that we're doing this work on behalf of all those who will come after us. I'm Susan Kennard, Rector of Trinity Church Galveston and the General Chair for the election of a suffragan bishop in the Episcopal Diocese of Texas in February of 2019. Uh, we in the Diocese of Texas have come to a new season in which we are saying goodbye to an amazing servant, um, the uh, Bishop Dina Harrison, uh, who has served uh, in an amazing capacity as a bishop suffragan for the West region. We, the people of the Diocese of Texas, must begin our work uh, to discern who is the next Bishop Suffragan to serve in the West region. We're excited about this. We are looking for somebody who has a passion for God's mission of reconciliation, who wants to join a team of people who want to communicate and do the work of growing and expanding our churches through evangelism and also want to continue our transformative work of the ministry of service. They will oversee a variety of boards, El Buen Samaritano, uh, St. Stephen's Episcopal School and Seminary of the Southwest. This person will also have the ministry and oversight for our work of raising up, calling, uh, and preparing people for ministry, both the baptized uh, and those who are called or feel called to become clergy. So the portfolio of ministry is an exciting one and an opportunity literally to help us form generations of leaders uh, for the Diocese of Texas. If you're considering or believe that perhaps uh, uh, you are called to discern this ministry as Bishop Suffragan, I hope that you will begin in prayer to uh, ponder that calling, uh, to do that on a regular and daily basis as you join us, the rest of the Diocese of Texas in praying. In 1838, the Protestant Episcopal Church in the United States of America sent the first missionaries ever out to a foreign country, and they sent them to the foreign country of the Republic of Texas. And so those two fabulous guys, Caleb Ives and Benjamin Eaton, came ashore on Matagorda and founded three churches. My own congregation, Trinity Episcopal, is one of those three, also Christ Church Houston, also Christ Church Matagorda. We look back at Caleb Ives and Benjamin Eaton and say, thanks guys. And we look back to that Episcopal Church in the United States of America with hearts filled with gratitude that even then they were reaching out and traveling to new places. Come on to Texas.